Someone asked why I don't cast aluminum match plates. I own one. I bought this off of eBay. It's uh, sword plates. The reason you cast aluminum match plates is durability. This pattern is going to last 100 years, thousands of rams. What I normally do is I cast an aluminum pattern and put it on a wood match plate. This saves me a lot of time because to make an aluminum match plate, you need a flask this big, all right? To cast a pattern, I need a much smaller. If I go up to aluminum match plate, I need at least two full inches of flask bigger than this pattern. Now this pattern, as you can see, is 18 inches across. So I'm gonna need a 20 by 16 flask. I can't lift that much sand. I can't. So it's pretty much out of the question. This is my standard match plate. It's uh, 14 by 15. So I would need a 17 by at least uh, 16 flask. I, I can't lift that much sand. Most people can't. You need either an assistant or lifting gear. So it's pretty much out of the question as a hobbyist for me to be casting match plates what's technically my standard size. Now, if you're gonna cast match plates, a couple things to keep in mind. One, if you don't know how to do it, the pattern making first and C has full instructions on three different techniques for doing it. Uh, this is available on Google Online. You wanna look for the 1976 version. The 56 version doesn't have it, and none of the other, I couldn't find any other versions. So look for pattern maker first and C on Google Books, 76 edition, and it'll give you instructions on exactly how to make an aluminum match plate. Now, why would you make an aluminum match plate? If you're running industrialized heavy equipment or fully automated equipment, you need them. They're almost mandatory, okay? But what I do by putting casting an aluminum pattern and putting it on a match plate gives me what I need. One of the advantages of a match plate is it supports very thin sections. Okay. When I made this pattern, it was all wood, and then I cast it in aluminum because I knew this spot right here, which is exceedingly thin, was going to be an issue. And also, this fin right here being the highest point is very likely while ramming sooner or later. I would hit this and damage it. Aluminum makes that go away. All right. So if I mount this on a match plate, just a wooden match plate, doesn't have to be aluminum, I get all the advantages of casting aluminum match plates. Now, where is there a huge advantage in aluminum match plates? If you have parts that require a follow board, this is a follow board, by taking an aluminum match plate, you take the follow board out. It becomes integrated into the casting because there's four parts on here that come out, all right? By, if I would cast this into a match plate, the patterns and everything would be integrated, built in. My gating would actually be on the rear. So this is all in the drag. You get a much easier to use, but I still have the problem of I would have to get a helper to come help me because I cannot lift this much sand. 